What's up YouTube? So, look at these little beasts in the mail today. I think I bought five of them. Um, only marking on the board is XY016. What they are is a low voltage um, step up converter, adjustable step up converter. A little uh, tiny, little bloody focus. A little brass screw there anyway, on the, uh, on the little blue potentiometer. So let's see what, if anything, happens when we power it up. I'm just using a USB power bank. Okay, so no lights or anything on it. Um, hopefully the power bank will stay on because a lot of the power banks turn off when you, um, yeah, like that. 100% true to form. A lot of power banks turn off when you um, don't have any load on something. So we've got the multimeter out. Let's see if we can least Short the thing out before you do anything with it. Wow, that's got 14 volts. There's an output, 5 in, 14 out. So let's go and do the old assume thing and assume that you got to turn this clockwise. Damn it, I don't think the screwdriver's even small enough. Oh no, here we go. Let's get clockwise a couple of turns. Power bank back on again. We're up to 15. Let's see what she goes to. Now you're probably thinking, what are you gonna what are you gonna ever use a little step up like this for? Five volts is a bit of a useless voltage kind of thing. Well, five volts is great for USB stuff. And uh, there's actually solder tags. 20 volts! <laughs> actually solder tabs on the in and the out. I'm testing from the output ones. Let's see if we got any more. So now the ability to boost low voltage to a much higher voltage on something like this. You can hardly see the groove in that. You want to get yourself a really small precise screwdriver. 25 volts. So, if you follow the channel, you remember, I just got hold of a great big sealed letter, oh not sealed, semi-maintenance free, um, big tall prismatic lead acid batteries, and there's six volts of, six volts worth of them, there's three big two volt cells, which could quite possibly be really, really high amp hours. We're gonna do a bit of a load test and see what kind of wattage we get out of the other side. Um, stepping it up, voltage wise. But, um, I wouldn't mind betting that if we soldered 20 or 30 of them together, we could make quite a cheap cost effective step up because I don't believe I paid any more than about 80 cents each for them. Um, and uh, they're completely variable. So, a few things that can be used for, they might be powerful enough to run a uh, 12 volt like LED light or something like that off USB power. We'll have to see. Um, if you get a couple hundred milliamps out of one, it might be useful for a few different things. So, uh, it's just a short video showing you what they are. I bought these off Geek. I'm pretty sure you can buy them on Amazon and uh, Banggood and Allied Express and eBay and all those places. Um, I just searched 5 volt step up. Uh, also commonly called it DC to DC, but uh, yeah Short little video for you would have been cool if it had some lights on it. I'm gonna buy a much bigger one um, Which has got an LED display telling you Voltages and things like that, but that's quite cool Next thing we'll do is we'll use the lab power supply on the output on on the input pins Sorry, and uh, see how low of a voltage it will start stepping up from that's the next step because if you could step up from a 1S lithium ion bank to a usable voltage out of something like this, um, you can make a huge 1S bank with all your scrap cells that you don't, like you wouldn't necessarily keep normally, and uh, put them to good use uh, without having balance issues or pack building issues. You could just literally solder as many of them together as you can with a fuse on all the positives, and away you go.
thanks for watching YouTube. I'll catch you on the next video.